Hey guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In this video, we're going to go over all the quest steps so far that are for the Lathizen's Breath Exotic Heavy Bow that is coming out for on October 22nd. And yeah, so we can't wait. Everyone's psyched about it. This quest is going to be based around Banshee because he will be the person who is like the main person who will give you the quest and give you this weapon. So let's get started. These are all the quest steps so far i will obviously make another video as soon the probably the day that before it comes out and all the quest steps if it changed or anything like that but this is just all the quest steps so far for the Lithian's breath exotic heavy bow so let's get right into it so the first part is called the back way banshee 44 wants to give you a weapon stored in the workshop but he didn't specific how we get in locate the hidden entrance to banshee's workshop and find the weapon so basically we will be accessed on the 22nd to go into banshee's room now remember there used to be a glitch near one where you could like use that whatever that i don't know that titan something there was like some emote dance in the one that you could go through doors and stuff if you didn't know and now we're actually going to go in here so yeah banshee's 44 gunsmith room will be unlocked actually now so yeah let's get that's pretty cool so we got to find the weapon of course that's the start of the quest the second part where are the keys sir you found the bow in a display case in a room that's got to be in banshee's workshop problem is the case is locked return the banshee to complain politely of course so yeah again there was leaks of people actually getting hidden into that other secret room of course and we don't know which room i don't really know which room we're actually gonna go in we're not gonna i don't know if we're gonna go in the room with the titans but with the cage on it or banshees gunsmith room i think there's like different rooms and i'm just not totally sure which one we're gonna go into but again there's been people who could be able to go inside to that room i will put a video in the description if you want to find out how to get into that room all right so after we of course complain to banshee that the case is locked um the third part into sat safe cracking one on one 101 you need a rotating key code to access the bow in banshee's workshop but the original has been lost you have to generate a new code following the same steps that banshee did first on banshee's list is to go get out into the field to send a key generator with combat data send it da send c data for a new key code by completing gamut matches or vanguard strikes gamut prime matches and night foes grant most effective progress of course we got to find in this part a key code to access the cage that the weapon has been of course locked in and again we might learn some lore about how this was locked in and i think this is mostly around the Lithiathan. i'm not totally sure if this gun is like in the Lithiathan, but again this is what we need to do first we have to play gamut matches and vanguard strikes gamut prime matches and night foes grant most progress so those were the things that you need to be out for advanced safe creek uh safe cracking 201 201 the key generator is seated with variable combat data and is now output key codes but to constrain the possible set of generated codes ghost says you need to provide the generator with some more target data literally use a bow to land prison in front of bows against vex or cabal so in this part we have to find more stuff with the generated codes and we just literally have to use a bow so be aware that you might have to use a bow so trinity gould witch and are good bows that you could use that you could get reacquired from your collections or any precision bow that you have from there's gonna be some in the raid and of course there's gonna be vex invasions on the moon now because after the raid is launched and i'm being honest but everyone someone will complete the raid before um october 7th or the reset any time after that so there will be vex on the moon and cabal on the low tides and if you want to get those guys with the bow next part is economics of war the key generator needs just a little bit more data before you're ready to enter the banshees for the final authorization to further limit the possible codes the generator can create, you have to recreate the conditions under which Banshee programmed the first codes. Fighting Red Legion versus during the Red War, complete an epic reprise strike of the arms dealer in the European dead zone on Earth. So we might be able to go back to the old campaigns, because if you go to Amanda Holiday, you can get the old campaigns, and you can still do the Red War campaign if you already did it. If you're like, yeah, that could be cool, we might have to actually go back to the red war campaign 
but it says here that we're going to complete a different and an epic reprise strike of the arms dealer in the European dead zone on Earth. So yeah, that could be a quick strike that we could get right into real quick. Next part is you uh, applied crypto security. You completed all the necessary collaborations on the key generator. The only thing remaining, remaining is a biometric authorization from Benji. Banshee, return the Banshee 44 in the tower, and then after that, you claim the bow. So, of course, these are just all the steps so far. We haven't known all like the all the big steps, but it seems there's only seven steps so far. So, I will keep you updated in a video later on if this if this ever changes. But so far, just be aware that you have to play some game prime matches, night falls, get a bow for precision kills, finish a strike. And yeah, and just kill Vex and Cabal. So be aware that there will be some stuff that you will need to do in this um, quest, but it won't be as lengthy as like the Lumina quest back in year two. All right, guys, that's me, Excitement, signing out in another Destiny 2 video. I would love you guys if you could like and hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to a 1,000 subscribers, and it would mean the world to me if you could do that. Thank you for all the support that you have given me. Love you guys like death, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>